What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Minecraft 1.18 survival let's play. In the last episode we acquired mending, we built an XP farm, and we ventured into the nether and we are here standing in front of the nether portal that we put together and I think that is looking pretty sweet. And for today's episode there are a few things that we need to accomplish, the primary goal being building up a storage building. My starter house is overflowing with stuff and I really need a large area to start to keep all of the good things that we are finding. But before then, we need to do something that I meant to do in the last episode and I just totally forgot about. But a few episodes ago, we built up this retaining wall and I added in these small little cubby holes in the wall here and I did that because I wanted to I wanted to come in here and place a few things put a lantern back in that one also put a lantern in here and in this one we're gonna throw down an armor stand over here got a few things we're going to put a trap door right like that and throw an item frame on that trapdoor. And this is actually the very first pickaxe that we ever crafted. And so I wanted to kind of store this and display it in this sort of uh, like trophy case we've got going on here. And then I'll put some glass in front of that as well. In this one, we've got room for our first set of armor right here. So we can go ahead and throw that in there like that and we'll get the glass in there. And then on this one here, I made a map of the entire valley. And so I wanted to go ahead and do that. So we're going to throw this map up here. I think this is looking pretty cool. And I copied all of these maps as well. So in the future, as we continue to build and grow, we can update those and make other copies of the map but this is really what we've got going on so far. You can see the whole valley, the lush cave, our starter house, the enchanting hall and everything. And I think that is looking really cool. But now that we got that put together, we're going to go ahead, go to sleep real quick. And then we are going to get started building the storage building. have the outside of the storage building put together 
and I went ahead and added a little bit of an outline of what the rest of this terraforming in this area is going to look like, but I'm going to do some more work over here on the landscaping, and uh, I'm going to come in here, put in a floor, maybe put in a little bit of a ceiling. I don't know, I kind of like the exposed roof with the copper, so we might leave that open actually. But we're going to come in here, put some chests throughout here, make sure there's plenty of storage, get a different floor than the stone, and then we will continue working on this area and getting this all complete. And um, we might do a little bit of work over here too, because this looks kind of strange right now, but there is access down into that cave that's right behind our starter house. But one other thing I'm thinking, I might change out the polished andesite. Uh, it just is a little too similar to the stone. And uh, I kind of want it to stand out a little bit more. So we'll be thinking about that as we continue working on this house. But that being said, let's continue to work. Let's get this landscaping uh, smoothened out and finish up the storage building. And then we can begin working on the mine, which is going to go right here in front of the storage hut. And there we go. We got the storage building complete. I went ahead and changed the polished andesite for some polished deep slate. I just think that the color stands out better against the stone here. So I went ahead and did that. And I went ahead and moved into the interior got it filled up with all of the chests and basically moved in all of my items. So over here we have all of the building type blocks. And then on this half we have kind of the valuable blocks, mining blocks. This is all wood and different types of wood items. And then got food and farming, mob drops, and then some random items in the barrels. And I think this is looking really good. Plenty of room. Got our enchanted golden apple on display. But the next task is going to be to start working on the mine. And so what I had in mind was digging a fairly deep and large pit in this crater that we already have going on right here. And then using a mine cart to take us down to specific levels where certain ores generate at the highest rate. So we're going to dig down to 56 for iron, 48 for copper, 0 for lapis, negative 16 for gold, and then negative 48 for both redstone and diamonds. So this is going to be a pretty big project seeing as we're at Y140. So to get down to the diamond and redstone level, we have to dig around 200 blocks down, which is pretty far. But we're going to put in a minecart track as well as an item elevator that will help get our items from the lower parts of the mine back up towards our storage building so we can mine for even longer without having to come back up top. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that now. And we'll do a, a little bit of a time lapse. And as we work, we will continue to stop and kind of work through my thought process on how we're going to put this mine shaft together. But let's get started.
So now we have this hole dug all the way down to Y56, way up here from 135. So we dug down about 100 blocks already. And so I just wanted to kind of explain the next step and what I'm thinking. Uh, what I want to do is take these spruce planks and make a stair similar to what we have over on that side, except this staircase is going to go all the way around like this. And as it continues around, we're going to be placing rails along it like this. And we'll have to do a couple little two wide spots so we can turn the rails without that happening. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to work this rail line all the way down to the bottom of the pit and then have a stop right there because that is the best y-axis to find iron. So we're going to go ahead add in a few of these stairs and these rails and then we will continue on down heading towards 48 which is the copper level. So let's get working on this rail line. All right we now have a working minecart and as you can see we have been working on this for so long that some of the copper has started to oxidize which is pretty cool but let's go ahead head down over here to where we have this minecart and we will give it a quick try and see how that is working out for us. I think this is pretty cool. Gets us all the way down fairly easily and safe. And all we have to do is enjoy the ride. But here we are down at Y level 56, which is the most common Y axis level to find iron. So we're going to have some sort of mining system at this level as well as uh, our water item elevator which is going to go straight up the middle right here and we'll have a way to add items into that but for now we're going to continue on digging down we still have quite a ways to go before we reach the other levels and we need to work on these platforms to make it to where we can stop and go easily from each level and then once we get the minecart all put together, we will start working on the item elevator to quickly and easily move items from down in our brand new mine up to our storage building. So let's continue working on the mine shaft. There we go. We've hit Y level zero. And this is going to be our base spot for mining lapis. Now we need to continue on down 16 more blocks and at Y level negative 16 is where we will begin our gold mine. And then from there, we have to continue on a little bit further to Y negative 48. And that is going to be where we set up our diamond and redstone mine. But we are getting pretty close here to having this mine shaft all the way dug out and then we'll have to go back add a few more rails set up the mine entrances at each of the different levels and then we will have a fully functional mine shaft and then the next step will be to add in the item elevator with the drop chute at each of the mining levels so let's continue to dig down to negative 16. All right, we are digging out level Y level 16 right here. Go ahead and get this cleared out. And then from here, we have to continue on down to Y level negative 48, which isn't too much farther to go. But we'll go ahead and keep. Oh, we just found some diamonds, which is pretty awesome. You got to love the those deep slate or textures, I think they're really cool. So we're going to just grab these real quick. Wow, it looks, oh my goodness, we got eight of them. And um, I'm using Silk Touch currently. 
uh, but we will make sure to hit those with fortune. And uh, we're going to continue on now all the way down to where hopefully we will continue to find a bunch of diamonds. But let's go ahead and get this mine shaft dug all the way to negative 48. And then we will be right back. Now we've got the entire mine shaft dug out. We've got all the rails laid down and we are here at negative 48 down at the very bottom. And the next step is going to be taking some trap doors and putting them on these blocks here to make a somewhat of a pipeline that'll go straight up the middle all the way back up to the very top and then once we've got that we will go in and add in some water turn that water into a bubble column and then add in an item dropper at each level so we can easily move items from the different levels of the mine all the way back up to the top so i'm going to go ahead and get those trap doors going line those all the way up and then we will continue working on the item elevator. And there we go. We have the entire bubble column put together. And I went with the acacia trap doors because I thought it was kind of cool that you can see through them a little bit. So you'll be able to see the items going up towards the surface. Now, the next step is going to be building a item dispenser which we're going to put somewhere in this area here. Uh, but before that, we have to make a quick trip to the nether to gather some quartz because you, uh, you need quartz to craft comparators and we need a comparator to put together the item dispenser. So we're going to run into the nether real quick, grab a little bit of quartz, and then we will get working on building the item dispenser. All right, we got... A little over a stack of quartz from the nether and i was heading back to the portal and i noticed there's a stronghold right there the portal's there and or not a stronghold but another fortress that's crazy i don't know how i missed that the first time but it, it is just right there so that will be super useful next time that we need to come into the nether and raid a nether fortress but for now we got the quartz that we need to craft some comparators so we're going to put together the different items we need to build the item dispenser and then we'll head back down into the mine and put that together all right so let's put together this item dispenser. I think that we're going to have it dispense from about right here. And we'll add in another little bit of a water stream here to help get the items from the dispenser to the item elevator. So we'll put that there. Dig back a couple more blocks. And then from there, we're going to dig out this block, place a sticky piston facing up, and then an observer that is looking towards the dispenser like that, with the little face looking towards the back of the dispenser. And then we put a comparator right there, and a, another observer on top of the comparator facing the opposite direction that I just placed it facing like this and so how this works is whenever an item is added to the dispenser it sends a redstone signal to the comparator which powers the sticky piston raising up the observer and the two observers facing each other they create a never-ending basically like a redstone clock and if I can put two of these up 
So see, when they're facing each other, they create a redstone signal like that. And so when you lift up this observer and it's looking into the other observer, it will fire the dispenser pretty rapidly. And then once it's empty, it lowers it back down and then you don't have to worry about the noise. So we're going to add in some hoppers and a chest or double chest over here so we can easily dump our inventory into the dispenser. And then I'll add in an item stream or a water stream so the items will successfully make it to the water column. And there we go. We have the item dispenser hidden in a little bit of decoration. We got this area looking pretty good. Started mining just a little bit to see if we could find anything. And uh, this, is, this is working pretty well. Uh, you just drop, drop the items into the barrel, goes through the hoppers, and it gets spit into the water column. And then we have a collection system right next to our brand new storage building. But I'm going to go ahead and reproduce this item dropper at each of the levels. And also I realized I made a mistake and I put the iron mine at the wrong level it actually needs to be at y level 16 so we'll go ahead and drop that down get that all sorted out but i think that's where we're going to leave it for today's episode thank you so much for watching make sure to check out the other episodes on my channel and if you would please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate that thanks again and i'll see you next time